All right, so we've got ourselves a, a bike here. Just got it from a, a cool guy off Facebook Marketplace on Port Rush Road. And it's a Facebook Marketplace deal. Had a good yarn with the owner, original owner. He just bought, bought it and uh, had a few runners of rednecks and just didn't really take the cycling. Used it on the home trainer and then it sort of gave a bit of dust. So he's just uh, he's just wanted to pass it on. Super friendly guy. It's all about Facebook Marketplace. You have a good yarn with people and you can see some real good detailed photos. So it's basically... What we've got here is an Avanti Corsa, and it's, you know, it's pretty much brand new. It hasn't done much work at all. I'll give it a service and a clean-up, a bit of a detail, because it needs that. And uh, that's the deal there. So it's been used in a home trainer. So what it is, I just checked to make sure there's any cracks around here, because home trainers can be brutal. I don't recommend using home trainers on these lightweight bikes, but this one hasn't been used a lot, so it's been okay. It's all right. Derail hanger. We can still get spares of those online. And uh, Durace, look at that, it's in quite a good condition. It's had a little bit of a drop there, a little bit of a bang bang. Maybe it's a little cat or dog. That's normal. And you can sort of see here the factory, they didn't cut this long enough. See how that's starting to crimp a little bit? Just a little bit of a sharp angle. Eventually that starts to fray there. So it should be a little bit, a bit longer, a bit of a longer loop. All right, not as aesthetic, but better for shifting. It's fine right now. That's just factory stock. Have a check of the condition of the rims. So the rim's in great condition, tyres, got a bit of cracks in there, that's, that's alright, that's sort of to be expected for the age. I'll still use these, I won't go to landfill, uh, this bike's going for a mate to get in, who's getting into cycling. These are the old S-Works, Mondos, and the Sirium's, they're in, they're in, yeah, very good condition. Pedals here, I can uh, pass those on as well, they're in a great condition, they're M24s. The old bear trap, not too good on the shins though, ouchy ouchy. Yes, yeah, so and of course a team. And uh, it's got the Dead Try drive tail on there, and the drive box down here. It's pretty, pretty chunky. And it's got a, a BSA bottom bracket in there as well. So, you know, it's nice. It's a Dead Try frame, frame tubing. It looks like potentially. And uh, fork. I'll drop this fork out just to double check for the ring of death. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay because the bike's hardly been used. It's in great condition. Been well looked after. And it's got the Black Drive Dead Try fork. These will be made in China. This frame probably made in China. And uh, yeah, so sort of a buttered hydroform down here, welded frame, oval stem and bars, carbon bars. I'll strip these back, give them a check for cracks because you never know. And the shifters here, front wheel, again, fantastic condition. It just needs a bit of a clean up. You can tell the condition of a rim by you can feel the you can feel the factory etching still there. When a rim's worn, it gets really concave, and it gets like that, like, like that, like a, a duck's beak. When it's brand new, it's dead flat and over time it wears. But you get a lot of usage out of them. We've got a little speedo on here. I'll give that to some some person in the Philippines or Thailand. And the shifters here, the condition of the shifters, it looks, uh, yeah, fantastic. These Dura 7800s, I'm a big fan of them. They're not really worth much anymore because they're, they're quite old. But you might get 300 bucks for the group set. But they're, they are, they are a nice shifter. I do like these and these are in, in a great condition. So it's well looked after the bike. And it's got a little cat I like there. Is that a recharge or is that a battery? It's probably battery power. Which uh, it's good to see them move over to rechargeables. So there you go, that's what I got. And this cost me, as is, uh, $750 Aussie, which is probably about 500 US or so. And then there we go. So that's what you get on your Facebook Marketplace deals if you know what you look for and you persist and have a look around and uh, spend a bit of time. Perfect, beautiful. And uh, thanks to uh, Reiner, who I bought it off. Uh, great guy to buy stuff from. Very polite and uh, accommodating. Thanks very much. Here, it's uh, might have done its day. The batteries are starting to corrode. Well, I try. I will try and salvage it though. These lights every year, I, I scavenge them and give them away to the Philippines and that. You can use rechargeable batteries in them as well, I guess so. But I think it's good that we've shifted over to uh, different tech. But yeah, the old opt Opticude Cat Eye. These are classic. But I yeah, always, I hate throwing stuff out, so I do my best to make sure it gets a home. Whether it's Australia, the Philippines, or Thailand. Bike, and I'll check under here for any cracks. This is where carbon bars crack, they get over tightened. Bang, bang. So we'll check that. We'll also drop the fork out as well. Get it home and drop it out. Give it a good once over. Make sure it's safe. So I've got the rig back home, taking off pedals, etc. Accessories. I've just weighed it. No pedals. 7.54. Weighed it three times, and that's the average weight. 7.54. So not a super light, but still pretty good uh, for the spec back in the day 2008 and it's going to be a great entry level bike uh, for someone so yeah fantastic little alloy 
bit of carbon, a bit of carbohydrate. That's because we're going to clean that bad boy up really good tomorrow. That'll be another separate video, stripping it down, rebuilding it up, giving it a good TLC clean.